What's up is me, Robert Pye. Um, just want to let you guys know out there who has neurofibromatosis that your stand went out and got a different type of haircut that I usually get. I usually get a close cut with the trim goatee and beard. Well, this time my brother offered to pay for my haircut and I decided to go with just the shape and the lining and I think I like this cut better than the other ones. It makes me look kind of, I don't know, distinguished maybe? So, yeah. <coughs> um, also, things out there are pretty good. If you get no pharmatosis, don't let anyone get you down once again. Um, I don't let it get me down. I know some of you out there has it worse than I do, but I just say let them live their life because they probably got more serious problems in their life than to be trying to worry about what what we have. I mean, let's face it. I you don't know what problem they have. They can see your physical problems, but they know that words really don't hurt you. Um, so just ignore all the words they say. Like I, I was teased a lot when I was little. They kept calling me whatever names they can think of calling me, call me bumpy, they thought I had chicken pox, they thought I had the measles, and I was like, if I had all these diseases though, that were contagious, why would I be here in school, at the store, on a public transportation, wherever, I wouldn't be out here, I'd be trapped in my home somewhere where I had those other diseases I just mentioned. But, <clears throat> don't let it get you down, I mean, just go on, live your life, and be happy. Because right now, I am the happiest person in the world. I got God in my heart. God is on my side. And I'm pretty sure most of you have God on your side, too. Whether you believe in God or not, I don't know. Um, but you do believe in something. And something out there. And you have a, they, just, they just have a lot of faith. One day, there will be a cure for neurofibromatosis. And when that cure comes, and this disease is no more, this world, along with another disease, will be a will be <coughs> can't forget that. I forgot what I was about to say. Um, this world with this disease will be gone, and no one else will ever ever have to suffer through it again. And whoever that was on the phone, they just called or hung up. Maybe they made a mistake, got the wrong number. I don't know. But just so you know, everything here is okay. If you have neurofibromatosis, just go out there, live your life, ignore all the name calling, and do your best. Oh, and also, like I said in my earlier videos, I was diagnosed with neurofibromatosis when I was 14. I only been to the doctor to see about it maybe two or three times because since I was 14, because of the insurance and all that, I have no insurance to get fully checked out, so I don't know everything that's physically wrong with me on the inside. Um, I hope it's nothing serious. My mother had neurofibromatosis, and she passed away um, just about a year and a half ago on May 20th of um, 2011. So, yeah, and I know she got it because of the neurofibromatosis, so I don't know if I have cancer running through my body or not. The last blood test I had, said there was no um, signs of any cancer, which is good, and that was like two, three years ago, but I'm not sure of now because I haven't had a, another blood test ran on me, but I'm pretty sure everything is okay with me, just like I'm pretty sure everything is okay out there with all of you. Well, that's it for now. Um, I'll try to post another video later, but <clears throat> for now, goodbye, good luck. Godspeed, and one day there will be a cure for this neurofibromatosis. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.